Hi there, my name is Logan and I'm one of the applications engineers here at NAS. Today we're going to look at two products from Fortress Power, their E-Flex lithium battery and then the FlexRack battery cabinet. So the E-Flex battery from Fortress is a lithium iron phosphate battery. It's 51.2 volts nominal and has a total of 5.4 kilowatt hours of energy storage. Being that the battery is lithium chemistry, that means it's maintenance free, it's totally sealed, there's no venting or off-gassing with this battery, nor do you have to worry about any maintenance or adding water. The battery has a 105 amp hour capacity. Uh, it's got near a 1C continuous charge and discharge rate of about 100 amps. Fortress recommends continuous charging at 55 amps or lower, and then on the discharge side, they recommend um, no more than 60 amps continuous. Both of those round out to about three kilowatts of maximum uh, charge and discharge potential per battery. What makes the Fortress battery unique, one of the things anyways, is its integrated BMS, which is a battery management system. Pretty standard with most lithium batteries that we offer, the BMS is going to take care of things like cell balancing, um, um, preventing any damage from overcharging or over discharging or uh, any issues with temperature. Uh, the battery also has closed loop communications with several um, inverter manufacturers, for example, Solark, Schneider Electric, uh, Victron will all be capable of closed loop operation with Fortress batteries. And another important spec about the battery is it has the UL9540 listing for ESS systems. The E-Flex rack is a battery rack shelving system to hold four E-Flex batteries. So, so the rack includes battery cables, a bus bar to, to connect all four batteries, and even includes um, all the hardware to attach those four batteries to the rack. So Fortress offers a few different options to mount their batteries. The batteries come included with a floor mount bracket. You can purchase separately a wall mount hanging bracket, a server rack mounting hardware, or the E-Flex rack that is shown behind us. Now that we're a little closer to the rack, um, right here on the left side of the rack is a, is a bus bar. This bus bar uh, makes all the connections from the inverter to the batteries. Um, included in the rack are eight different battery connections, four red, four black. They're pre-made cables exactly for, for this rack. Um, you, you, you connect them to the rack with um, a 13 millimeter um, wrench and you also use that 13 millimeter wrench to put them on the batteries. Um, negative is the first bus bar in here and positive will be the, the back one. On the right side of the battery we have our communication cables. Um, the, the batteries communicate with each other using CAN bus RS-485. Um, it's, a, it's a daisy chain, so we have the bottom battery here. Um, it has, um, the last port has a terminator um, to finish the system, and then we connect the battery to the next one using a standard RJ-45. This cable here is provided in the box with the battery, and we go all the way up to the last battery. So the advantages of closed loop communication is the battery is sharing information with the inverter. This information might be state of charge, voltage, current of the battery bank, um, if, if there's any errors or how it's doing. Closed loop communication integrates by connecting the first battery to the inverter with a network cord. Depending on the application, a special cable might, might need to be purchased. All right, so we're gonna now turn these batteries on and to do so, we're just gonna push the button in the middle. And now these batteries are going to go through a synchronization phase where they will check and to make sure that they're all in spec. So we've got all the batteries installed, wired, and powered up. Um, as you can see, there's a few LED indicator lights that are on each battery. So each battery on the far left has a run indicator. Uh, in this case, we've got all the batteries showing the uh, green intermittent flashing for the run light. So that just means the batteries are on and operating and uh, contributing to the system. Next to the run light is a BMS light. That'll usually come up solid red or flashing red if there is any sort of a problem or an issue, fault, something going on with the BMS. So 
No batteries here have the red BMS light on, meaning all is good, no faults or errors at the moment. And then to the right of both of those lights on each battery are four additional uh, green LED lights. Those are the state of charge indicators. The more lights there are, the higher the state of charge is. Uh, at the moment, all four batteries are sitting around the same level. Um, they're all showing two of the state of charge BMS lights. So. Uh, they're likely around 50%, maybe 60% state of charge. And that concludes our video for the Fortress E-Flex battery and the Flex Rack. Uh, thank you everybody for joining us and watching. Feel free to give us a call or send us an email if you have any questions.